hello so this is rajesh lakshana so i welcome you to all uh, or to the another lecture series on data structures in today's lecture series we are going to see about a uh, linear stru data structure uh, which is linked list so i would like to explain linked list with a picture so this picture uh, can clearly depict what a linked list is all about so here uh, this is the train. So let us take it as a data structure. Here, each compartments are linked together with the help of a linking chain. So these compartments are called as the nodes in a linked list, and the chain which is used to link the compartments is called as the pointers. So this chain will link to the next compartment in the uh, ray, uh, train. Similarly, in a linked list, the pointer will point to the next node in the linked list. So, linked list is a linear data structure which consists of two fields, mainly two fields. If it is a single li uh, linked list, it will consist of only two fields, which is a data field and the other one is the address field. So, linked list consists of series of nodes and each node is connected by means of pointers. So, each node will consist of a data field and an address field. Data field will hold the value and address field will point to the or it will hold the address of the next node in the list. So this is best example for linked list. Here, each rectangular boxes depicts the node. See, as I said before, each node will consist of two fields. One is the data field and other one is the pointer field. So here, 1000, 2013 represents the memory address of each nodes. So it need not be 1000, 2000 uh, or 3000. So here, memory address is uh, specified just for your understanding. 10, 20, 30 are the data values. So 10 is the data value of node 1, 20 is the data value of node 2, and 30 will be the uh, data value of node 3. So if you look into node 3, the uh, pointer field or the address field is marked as null, which means it marks the end of the list. So in linked list, the last node will always have the uh, pointer field uh, with the value null because there is no more node in that linked list. So then last La, the pointer field of last node will always be null in case of linked list. So first node is always referred to as the header node. So why do we need? Uh, what is the need to go for linked list when we have array as an as a linear data structure? Is that so? Take an example. If I want to store the mark of uh, students, so let us assume your class consists of fifty students. So I have declared a variable marks with size is fifty. So here 50 indicates that you can store the marks of 50 students. So uh, initially I have created like this, but during the second year, later entry students may come. So the class strength will increase, right? So in such case, if I want to store the mark of 51st student, it is not possible in case of array. In array, we cannot increase the memory size. And sometimes you may need to store less than 50 students marks. For example, if uh, any student has discontinued so, for example, uh, let us assume two students from your class has discontinued. In that case, you need to store only for the marks of 48 students. So, there the extra memory of two students will be a wastage. To overcome this problem, we are going for linked list because in linked list, we can create memory at runtime, unlike array. So these are the advantages of link, uh, linked list <coughs> over array, which is in case of linked list, uh, it is the data structure is dynamic. So the size of the linked list increase or decrease during the program execution. And there is no memory wastage uh, in case of linked list. For example, memory will be allocated at the time of program execution. And uh, hence there is no memory wastage. And inserting and deleting the value in a linked list is very easy. You can insert or delete at any specific location, unlike an array, where inserting a uh, an element at a specific location needs to move all the elements one position towards the right. So it take it is a tedious process and takes more time and memory in case of array. So this is not the case with linked list where you can insert any data at specific position and you can also delete any data from the specific position. All you need to do is change the pointer values. And uh, but the limitation is that it needs more memory. So, for example, if you want to store the uh, data in linked list, you need more memory space as each node consists of 
two fields data and address part so for both data and address part a memory space is required so comparatively the memory space required by link linked list is higher when compared to the array this is major drawback of linked list and there are three types of linked list which is singly linked list doubly linked list and circular linked list in singly linked list each node will consist of two fields one data field and one pointer field so the pointer field will only point to the immediate next node in the list so whereas in case of doubly linked list we have each node will have three fields one data field and two pointer fields so the two pointer fields are named as previous pointer and next pointer so the left side pointer is previous and right side pointer is next pointer the next pointer will point to the immediate next node in the list whereas previous pointer will point to the pre node previous to the uh, node currently we are pointing to for example uh, let us take the node with the data value 10 so the previous pointer of the node containing data value 10 will point to the node containing the value 5 whereas the next pointer of the uh, node containing data value 10 will point to the node has with the data value 15 so the advantage of having previous and uh, next pointer is that it is easy to traverse in both the direction in case of singly linked list searching or traversing can happen in only one direction which is forward direction whereas in case of doubly linked list the traversing can be done in both the direction both forward as well as in reverse so in case of uh, singly linked list then uh, uh, pointer field of the last node will be null right whereas in case of doubly linked list the previous pointer of the header node and the next pointer of the last node will be null so next comes the circular linked list circular linked list is again a uh, singly linked list or a doubly linked list one major difference is that in case of singular link, uh, sorry circular linked list the first node which is a header node and the last node are linked together so we do not have any null pointers so if you have reached the last node you can move back to the first node easily so which is not possible in case of singly linked list so one in case of singly linked list once you have reached the last node and if you want to move back to the first node again it is not possible that is why we go for circular linked list so if you have reached the last node it is easy to move back to the first node so these are the three main or the, these are the three types of linked list so like array we can also perform operation like insert delete search print find all these operations can also be linked list, performed in the linked list so in the next lecture session so we shall discuss about these operations in detail hope you understand this uh, topic we will meet in the next uh, lecture video thank you